Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today we're looking at the filter function available in Office 365 and uh, how you can use it in combination with conditional formatting to prepare dynamic styled lists. So I have these uh, checklists at work for um, different tasks that we need to do as part of uh, due diligence and uh, acquisition. And um, I wanted to have this uh, list of all the outstanding items. And uh, I wanted this list to be generated dynamically from my tracker and uh, look in a way that, uh, that you can just hit print into PDF and just send it over either to team members or to an external company. I played with a few different options and uh, I figured a really neat way to do it with uh, the filter function and then some uh, additional conditional formatting. Let's go ahead and dive straight in Excel. Here's our um, acquisition progress tracker that we use to track uh, all the tasks that we need to perform as part of our acquisition due diligence. And uh, let's say the company is called Ackman Limited. So those are the outstanding tasks. And uh, here we have some drop downs which you can add with uh, data validation. And uh, here in the next sheet is the status options that I get and to have the category, the task, who's responsible, the expected time when it's going to be um, finalized and some comments. What I want to do is I want to prepare a more presentable sheet that uh, can be used just like uh, to be directly printed in PDF and sent to the representatives of ACME or to our internal team and see what's left to do. I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to add two markers here and uh, one is going to be print out. And this uh, is going to let me use an X and just center it. This is going to let me use an X whenever I want to print any of the tasks. Okay, let's copy access everywhere. We want to print out each of those tasks. And the next one is going to be category. Let's just copy those and then delete them. So we have the formatting as well. So what I want to do is I want to have the category above each of the tasks so we can use the filter function to, um, to print only those that we want. And then we're going to use the fact that it's a category to format it in a different way. Okay, let's start building our printout sheet. I'm gonna apply some formatting and uh, this is gonna be my, say the title at the top, I want it to be Acme Limited, sheet name, let it be printout, the company name is Magnimetrics and everything else can be just like that. Let me just zoom this in a bit. I'm gonna link those to my tracker this is going to equal this. Okay, I can just copy that down. And uh, here I want the current date. So I'm going to use the text formula. The value is going to be the today function. And the format that I want it is day, month with uh, the, the three letter version, and then the full year. Okay, and uh, the idea here is that every time I go in to print that, it would always have the current date. Outstanding items. And here we're going to use the filter uh, formula. And it's a great formula that allows us to dynamically filter. So the first thing we want is the array that we're going to be filtering. I'm going to go to tracker and I want to grab all the tasks. So let's Go ahead and just give it a bit more down here. So if we add new tasks, those being will be included. Or alternatively, you can convert this to a table and then just grab the whole column. Then the next parameter that it asks for is what to include. So I want to select the same uh, range here, but in the printout. So I'm going to start from H7 and go all down to 36. And I want this to equal X. Okay. And you can see we get a so-called spilled formula. So it just spills down and gives us everything that has the X. Let's say we don't want to have the debt refinancing, so we can just remove it, 
remove the X here and you can see that it's no longer here. Awesome. Next thing, uh, let's separate those in categories, but uh, just by using this same formula. In order to do that, just going to add in a new line and uh, let's just copy the formatting here and paste it over here. And this is going to be strategy. Then I'm going to add a new line about finance. This is going to be finance, legal, and IT. Okay, those will be categories. So X, X, X for Lego and X for IT. And I also need to mark them for printing. Let's bring that back. So all those will be printed out. Okay, and why did we do that? Uh, the, the category here. So what I want to do is I want to have um, conditional formatting that would pick if this is a category and then and by the way you see that those appeared here strategy finance lego it and then format it differently and in order to do that i'm gonna go here in my list i'm gonna go to categories and i'm gonna use the filter formula here to grab from our tracker all the tasks this is another way to do it instead of just selecting something where category equals X. Okay, and here I have another spilled formula. You see how this is, uh, uh, there's like a border to it. And you can see that you only see the formula when you're on the first one. If we go down, the formula is grayed out. So here we got all the categories. What I can do here now is have this like a helper formula on the side which is just gonna be vlookuping benign the, the current item and checking if it's here. I'm actually gonna vlookup from column D to column E and I want the second one, the one in column E and I'm just gonna add X's here so it would be easier for our conditional formatting. Okay, and I want an exact match. And now it shows zero because here we don't have anything. So let's add our X's here. And now we can see that this is a category. Okay, I'm gonna drop that down a bit just to make sure that it covers all the items. And you can see that here we got an error. So I'm gonna wrap this VLOOKUP formula in an if error formula and ask it to just show me in an empty cell instead. Copy that down and now you can see that we only have the axis where we have our categories. The next thing we're gonna do is just select like this and add conditional formatting, a new rule, and we want to use a formula. And the formula is gonna be really simple. Equal A9 equals X. And here we need to remove the dollar sign in front of nine, so it would be able to go down. The format that we want, we want it to be bold, I want it to be white, then I want this to be filled with our blue, and I want border, okay? Okay, and you can see that we now have our categories outlined. Let me just expand that a bit. And the last thing to do is grab this whole column and just make the text white. So now, if we go to our tracker, and let's say we need to add a new item in finance, it's gonna be a wrap up pre-acquisition financials. We're gonna say that George is gonna be responsible for that. He needs to do it in Q1 2021. It's in progress. And then I wanna print it out. And you can see that it automatically popped up here. But um, I also want to, to leave some room between those. And uh, the easiest way to do that is you can just go ahead and add an empty line above each of the categories and add it 
to uh, the list is going to be printed out with an X, but then it would show a zero here because it's uh, an empty cell. So what we can do is can just add one space and now you have your empty space here. So just kept copy this uh, whole row, just insert it here and then insert it here. And if I come here, you can see now that we have our nice looking list. This is still usable enough to track our uh, progress and have our comments here. And just by adding those two columns that uh, we can even hide by grouping them when we're not using them, we can have this uh, dynamic printout that's uh, completely automated that we can then print and share uh, to our internal team or share with the acquisition target. That was it, using the filter function to prepare a style dynamic list. Uh, bear in mind, this is only available for Office 365 users. There are tons of ways that you can apply this function, but uh, for me so far, this has been the first time that they've actually applied it in something that used live. And the benefit is uh, quite big, to be honest. Uh, instead of having to prepare those lists every single time, I just uh, have this uh, dynamically set up. And uh, here at the example, we only looked at a simple uh, list with uh, headings, but uh, this can progress and uh, become a much more complex solution. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. So, um... <clears throat>